Hello friends, welcome to Office Space. Today in this video session, uh, we will discuss about how to insert a record in ASP.NET Core. So uh, let's start. We open our Visual Studio. Here I have already created a, a blank ASP.NET Core project with the MVC pattern. This is the models, view and controllers and uh, I have also taken a uh, one sample database uh, where uh, we will insert a record into the this TPL employee table. So first of all uh, we create a procedures for this uh, here I create a procedures it's a create proc sp sp employee same name it's like a 250 and it's a city and it's a state and now it's a country and then department it says begin and insert into tbl employee now we provide these values now uh, i run this queries now command completed successfully uh, in this video uh, i will use uh, edu.net for uh, inserting uh, records into the this database table so i have to create a uh, one more class uh, inside a model We open our solution explorer and here uh, firstly add a one model class for this employee table here uh, we create a employee class uh, which containing all the columns that uh, we need to insert it into this record so here i choose any name employee Now it's getting a class here we will take a properties for this string name it's a city and it's a state now this is the department and this is the country now uh, we will go to our next step we create a one class for creating a database operations uh, it's like a database access layers it's like employee db and here uh, we using some more name spaces like uh, system dot data using system dot 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 SQL client and using the model class 
model name space insert code dot models and here we create a connection sql connection cone is equal to sql connection here we will provide a connection string we create a functions for inserting a record uh, save record and here uh, we taking a model class name it's employee like emp and it says kill command to new SQL command here we write a procedure name our procedure name is sp employee add this command dot command type dot stored procedure and this command dot parameters dot edit value here we write the this parameters name we copy paste some more parameters and this is the city name the state this for country and this for department now uh, uh, we provide their values is emp dot emp name and this is the city and emp dot state emp dot country emp dot department Con dot open com dot execute non query and then con dot close and yeah, we adding some try cache for uh, exception handling. And we also take here a string and we paste all this if connection state is con dot connection convert state is equal to connection state dot open then uh, we close our connection
and here we return a message x dot message dot to string and here we return some ok message now this completed uh, for a database success layer class now uh, we go to our controller now uh, we go to our view it's here and uh, here we create a html form for inserting a record here we create form it's a close here we are taking some bootstrap classes so gentle it's close from group and then taking a for a label like its uh, name plus is a uh, control level and then taking a uh, input and it's a plus uh, from control here we also take a uh, their action name is uh, sp spx is equal to uh, we take our x name that we created for a post method it's index and here we also take in a model name for sp4 uh, this this control for this employee name so i write it here it says before now we copy paste this for more time and we also write here a model name the model uh, insert got dot models dot employee and this for city and this for state and this for country and this for department here we write a city a state and this for country and this for department now we close this yes remove this here we take a button for submit input and this type is submit and then write there as values it says submit And then write here as some British trap losses now HTML form is completed now we go back to our uh, controller section and here we create a uh, one more method for uh, post where we submit a data this is HTTP post
here we create object for that employee db class inside db op is equal to employee db and then take here a parameters for this employee db it's a bind employee and here we create object now it's a dbop dot save record then pass this object here and we also get some validations is a model state node is valid now uh, we also add some try catch for exception handling so here i add try catch page this section to here and we also take uh, this string message that uh, returned returned by this every code function we stored this message inside our time data so like msc we take uh, variable and this for uh, exception message Let's say x x dot message and we also uh, we also pop up this uh, temp message uh, to the this view is not is equal to null then we write here a script for this it's alert template now we run this project press f5 now project is building build succeeded now uh, it's accessing the home index uh, action method uh, that display the form for inserting a record into the employee table so here we fill the record we access all it's a city here we enter a city new delhi say departments is like it and here we click to submit it's uh, showing ok means record inserted so here we check uh, record inside the tbl employee table select stock from tbl employee so record is inserted inside the table so this is all for how to insert a record in sv.net core mbc so if you have any problems any suggestions please like in the comment box i will reply you soon if you like my videos please click on subscribe buttons and click on subscription bell for latest updates so thanks thanks for watching uh, we will meet in next video session